Where did you get that board? With this board? You you can choose it. In the in the settings. You get it automatically. Because well, it's not Christmas right now, but it's gonna be Christmas soon. This is a decent hand. No pago, okay. Love this 90. Oh man. Okay. Grovny is the expert. So he said that there's some looties hidden on this board. You just need to click the right pixel. It could be like the pig snout. Not the pig snout. Let's go and drink a larva. He did say that it's the snowman. You found a mysterious package under a pile of snow. Shoop will help you open it. Snowman. Is there anything else other than the snowman? We got the snowman. But that's only the snowman, right? The piggy interacts. Uh, punching, cracking the dick. Even though he is dressed as a mall Santa, still doesn't do anything. Maybe he's too drunk. Ooh. Let's go penitent. Ooh, actually, maybe not. Well, that's a lot of bleed. Let's go haunt. Don't click on the leader. My own leader. <laughs> oh my god. You know me too well. God damn it. <laughs> I totally would have uh, done that as a joke. But then realized that, oh crap, hero ability. <laughs> What? Stunning blow. Okay, let's do Penitent. So we play Bargust. And get out the beast, maybe? No, we get a Puggo. Decent. Decent outcome. Obviously, we are kind of trying to balance this deck. Early on, I was most concerned about trying to make round 3 work. Just the the spam. Because that's the core of the deck. We need, we need to make the spam work. If the spam works... Like, that was the first thing. And once that worked, I, have to go, I had to go back to round 1. Like, winning round 1 is the most important part after that. We have to make that work too. Okay. Let's play in the front. And now we need to balance it a little bit. So we win round one and win round three. I can draw the Plague Maiden, actually. Yeah. No! It's giving up! Oh. What do we play? So, we cannot play a noon rate as a throwaway because we have no way to get it back anymore. We cannot play Matahari. We can play a Bargust. I have to play something and it should be the Bargust.
Okay. Huh. I do believe the haunt is a good choice. Even though it gets removed from time to time. We just we just need all the power we can get. That's a completely useless card. But we can no no no. I'm looking for a K run. Actually it's gonna be tied with the Glusty right now. Still then Drag of Warrior is decent. Now uh, we, we need to cut just Okay, we have a K run and we can make some choices here. If we do a Matahari here, we, which we should, which we No, we shouldn't do that. We should do it next turn. We gotta get a Glusty. I think we should do it next turn. Because we extend the next round. Let's do it next turn. We don't need anything from the Matahari. So we're gonna just do it next turn. Uh, later next turn. Just to make sure that... Uh, even more cards get played. But it's gonna be a pretty long round. So, Plague. Plague Maiden. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. This is a usable deck. And, uh, well, usable hands. I don't know. I, I guess we're gonna get a, like a Beaster and a Baya. No, it's gonna be Beast. Okay, I mean, I'm not super happy with that outcome, but well, these top decks just gave me everything, so I guess uh, we're not going to complain about it. No, we're not going to redraw. I'm good. Imagine if he had Herald. Oh, don't, don't say things like that. <laughs> but yeah, excellent point. So we are a little bit at mercy of the what what's popular in the in the meta, but not so much because when it comes to consistency, I think this deck is fairly consistent considering we try to win the game in a very unique way. We are gonna plan to because Gauss is ranged and Matahari is ranged and Plague Maiden needs a lot of slots. We're gonna play Operator. Noon rate in the back. Next, it's gonna be Current Deer. Noon rate in the back again. Then Gauss. Stomp on the Noon rate. And we're gonna see a Mega Glusty. Like, this stack is gonna see the biggest Glusties in existence. And. Yeah, we can do Plague Maiden into Glusty. Jesus Christ. But the Swabble Priest is a concern. Even though... No, 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 he, he probably has a way to punish uh, boosted units. Yeah, not the best. But he can just keep hitting that Drakkar. So the, the ship is just gonna save all my rats from this Swabble Priest, and he might only have one. If he only has this one uh, Swabble Priest, it's game over, man. Festive Fanatic. I like that title. It's gonna be a bit tricky, trying to make everything fit uh, on the board. Sure, let's do that. So he's playing a uh, spam Skellige. Let's do Gauss over here, maybe, and replay the Noon Raid. Then we go Noon Raid, and one K Run might just take him out.
And at that point, we're gonna have two uh, finishers, the Glusty and Jotun. I wonder if they actually thought about this when they were making this archetype. Oh my god, what are you doing? That only helps me. GG. <laughs> Not necessarily. Maybe he has some tricks up his sleeve. Wait, what? I think he's desperate to uh, do his old uh, his combo. That seems reasonable, but knowing CDPR, I doubt it. It's too tricky for CDPR, eh? So, 7 and 8. We can just eat these guys. No, 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 no. Just, just keep the rest. <laughs> Holy shit, he has seven cards. And he's gonna get one extra card from me. Eight cards blocked. Oh my god, I feel so dirty. Oh, and the games are actually quite short. GG.